Welcome to your YouTube channel. Today we came to see what the life of rhinos is like. In the first step, we will check their physical characteristics and we want to see what physical characteristics they have. This mammal is usually found in mountainous areas. It lives and has a large body covered with hair. The hypodermic layer of rhinos is thick and protective and helps them in difficult situations. The baby of this type of rhinoceros was about 120 centimeters long and 72 centimeters high at the shoulder in one month. The appearance of rhinos has various colors, but most of them are brown, gray, or yellow. They have strong and long arms and legs and use their tails and hands to dig and move on the ground. Their heads are small and have two eyes and a sensitive nose. Rhinos often live alone or in small groups and use plant and animal foods. Unlike the horns of other animals, rhino horns are made only of keratin and are similar to human hair and bones. Introduction of five types of rhinoceros white rhinos are endangered, meaning they may become extinct in the near future. The southern white rhino population is increasing, however, the northern white rhino is considered a species known to be extinct in the wild. Currently, there are an estimated 20,405 southern white rhinos living, according to the IUCN. In 2009, four northern white rhinos were transferred from a zoo in the Czech Republic to a private conservation in Kenya, hoping that they are raised there. On October 18, 2014, Petya Conservation announced that one of the rhinos, one of the two males, had died. However, he was not a victim of poaching and the Environmental Protection Agency was investigating the cause of his death. On March 20, 2018, the Environmental Protection Agency announced the death of the last male white rhino in Sudan. The difference between a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros it can be traced back to several aspects. First, the behavior of these two animals is different. Hippos are highly social and are typically seen in large groups in areas where there is water, while rhinos are more solitary by themselves. Second, the biogeography of these animals is different. Hippos live in the African continent, while rhinos are found in different parts of the world, including Africa, Asia, and Australia. Third, in terms of appearance, the hippopotamus has long teeth and a very strong and flexible jaw, while rhinoceroses have long horns on their noses that are used to indicate avoidance combinations. According to the World Wildlife Fund, there are only two northern white rhinos left in the world, and both live in captivity. These two women include Nijin, a Sudanese girl, and Fatu, a Nijin daughter who live in Kenya. According to experts, these two women are not capable of successful reproduction. Nijin is unable to carry and bear the weight of a child due to his old age and problems with his legs, while Fetu has uterine problems that may cause her to avoid procreation. In addition to natural efforts to reproduce northern white rhinos, conservationists have turned to in vitro fertilization methods. However, artificial insemination in these species of rhinoceros comes with many challenges, including figuring out how to extract immature eggs for growth in the external environment from the female's body and how to inject sperm into these eggs. Rhinoceros horn headache is an animal without a bony core. Rhinoceros horn is made of keratin, which is exactly the same as human hair and nails. Since ancient times, rhinoceros horn has been used as a source of raw material for making dagger handles in Oman and Yemen, as well as in traditional medicine in Europe and Asia. But in 2008, the very high demand for rhino horn in Vietnam caused its price to rise sharply, so that its price went from $250 to $500 per kilo to $300,000, which is several times the price of gold. From 1990 to 2007, only 15 rhinos were poached in South Africa, but in 2012 that number rose to 688. Currently, three quarters of the world's consumption of rhino horn belongs to Vietnam, and it seems that the main reason for this consumption is the creation of rumors about the cure of cancer by a Vietnamese politician using rhino horn. However, even in traditional Chinese medicine, rhinoceros horn is not associated with cancer treatment. In traditional Chinese medicine sources, rhinoceros horn is only prescribed for fever and convulsions. The effect of rhinoceros horn on fever and convulsions has also been rejected in scientific research, and its use is exactly the same as the use of human nails. In the report of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, 
The demand for the astronomical prices of rhino horn is linked to the rapid increase in the number of billionaires in Vietnam, the high rate of cancer, and the lack of treatment centers for cancer in Vietnam. Sometimes rhinos are sold as decorations for economic and cultural reasons. They are often used in traditional Chinese medicine. Rhinoceros horn is added to food in the form of powder and facilitates the treatment of hangover, fever, and other disorders. This powder contains useful substances that are also used in tea. It is interesting to know that the horn of these animals is made of keratin like our nails. To prevent the illegal hunting of rhinos, scientists at the University of Oxford have produced artificial rhino horns have done that it does not have any difference with the real horn, that is, it is made of keratin and has an even lower price. Other dangers that threaten rhinoceros, despite being herbivores, these animals are sometimes dangerous animals. In India and Nepal, the annual number of rhinos attacking and harming humans is more than that of tigers and leopards. These large animals are between 2.5 and 2.3 meters long and weigh between 1.5 and 1.2 tons, and are the second heaviest land animals after the elephant. In traditional medicine methods, they are hunted illegally. This practice has caused some species of rhinoceros to become endangered. According to the report of the International Organization for the Protection of the Environment, the generation of the West African black rhinoceros is completely extinct and a similar fate is predicted for the northern white rhinoceros. Despite their skin covered with thick hair, rhinoceroses are frequently attacked by ticks and other parasites. These attacks can often be seen by birds, which help the rhinos by providing a targeted food source of these insects. Also, larger feline species such as tigers and leopards may consume baby rhinos as a food 